Hi, I'm Christina Cotlier. I'm a ceramic artist based in Los Angeles, California. Welcome to my studio. I make functional art pieces that you can use and enjoy in your daily life. Under the current circumstances, I found it to be very relaxing to have something fun and simple that you can make at home. So today in this craft therapy workshop, I'm going to show you how to make a cute little face pot with everyday items from your kitchen and a little bit of clay. For the workshop today, you'll need a ball of clay. Mine is a little larger than a handful. I'll be firing this in my kiln later, but you can use air dry clay or clay that you can bake in your oven at home. You also need a spoon, a fork, a kitchen knife like a steak knife, a, an old hotel room key or credit card, a pen with a nice round bottom, a little bit of water, a round cookie cutter, or a lid that's round that you can cut around with your knife, a typical rolling pin, and something with a nice straight edge. I'm using a piece of wood, but you can use a ruler. Okay, so first we're going to work on our slab. You can pound the clay to get it lower, flatter. And I'll keep flipping it over to get both sides more even. And then sometimes I'll do a few taps to stretch it out more easily. And then we'll just roll it back and forth on each side to prevent air bubbles or to catch them. And I'm trying to get the slab to about a quarter inch thick. Fairly even. And I'm going to use my cookie cutter and cut two circles. And my straight edge and the back of my knife to cut my side pieces. But I'm gonna keep a little clay out to use for my nose. And now we have our two perfect circles, perfect enough. And I am going to cut off the tops. This is the shape that I'm going for. You could do any shape, it doesn't have to be a circle, you don't have to cut off the tops. And so this is the front and back of my little piece. And I'm going to cut a nose now. I'll try it on for size. So I want it a little shorter and I want it to end and cut at, a, at an angle on the side to have it taper off. So there's my nose for now. I'm going to give myself a light trace of where it's going to go. And then I'm going to use the end of the knife to score a little, um, little indentation pattern so that they'll attach better to each other. And I'll put a little bit of water on. Use the side of my spoon and then you can just smooth it out quickly with your the edge of your knife again the back side otherwise you'll cut things off so now I'm going to use the um, edge of my spoon 
make our eyes. And then I'm going to use the butt of the pen cup, or the end of the pen, for a smile. Okay, so there we have our little guy. He's got some imperfections, but I think it's cute. You can smooth it out as much as you want, um, but don't forget that it's handmade. So now I'm going to use a fork to just score the edges. And this will um, attach the pieces. Okay. And then I'm going to take the side of this straight piece and make a groove. And then another one that it will attach well. And I'll just line it up with the back side of my pot. I'm gonna trim this. Trim that. I just wanna have it come in a little bit on the edges to keep flowers in. Again, I'm just firmly pressing it down. And then I'm going to take the inside of the spoon and the underside and just squish it together. And give it a nice tap. And then I'll connect the two pieces and line this up. And now a little firm tap to connect these. And then again, we'll smooth, but this time on the outside. So we're just going to connect all three pieces. Make sure everything's well attached and that the edges are as clean as you want them to be. And there we go, so this is where our flowers will go. We've got our cute little face, pretty happy little guy. And um, after it dries, you could smooth it out with a sponge if you'd like, or leave everything as it is, and it will shrink and this is what you'll end up with. A nice little vase, um, and you can glaze it or paint it however you like, or you can leave it. But I think it's a cute little, cute little guy. Thank you so much for following along today with our craft therapy workshop. I hope you had as much fun as I did and enjoy your face pot vases. And please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.